Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm a really big Kevin Smith fan, and I'm a really big Funko Pops fan, and I never thought I'd see the day where they'd make Jay and Silent Bob Funko Pops. So let's go check them out. So these figures are based on how Jay and Silent Bob appear in the film Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. That film was a road trip, so the packaging features a map of the U.S. on the back. The first figure we'll take a look at is Jay. So Jay comes in what I consider to be the basic Funko Pop stance. They've got some figures that have little accessories that they're holding or in a unique pose, but generally they kind of have their arms down, their knees bent. Uh, I think they did a good job with this figure overall. Uh, his costume in the film had several layers to it, and uh, the sculpt and paint on this figure attempts to achieve those. Uh, if you look here, you've got the yellow jacket, and then uh, over the black t-shirt was this orange and blue... Uh, quick stop button up shirt. I think they did a good job trying to uh, capture all those layers and I really like that they even did like a little stencil of a uh, Olaf on the Berserker shirt and you can even kind of see the word Berserker written on there. Good job on replicating that shirt. That's a small detail that I wasn't sure they were going to try to get. Uh, they did try to get the little grays on the jacket though. Um, yeah, there's a little nick on the paint there but that's to be expected with some of these Funko Pop figures. Uh, overall though, the J figure turned out really good. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Next up, we'll take a look at Silent Bob. Silent Bob turned out awesome. I love when Funko does unique character poses, and Silent Bob needs to have a cigarette, and I love that he's got his hands sculpted in his pocket. A little detail that I really like is that they uh, included the little button that he has on his collar, and I like that they have his white t-shirt sticking out underneath his black t-shirt. That's something that I figured that they might overlook, and I think it's cool that they included it. Detail on the hat is fine. Um, speaking of detail on the hat, I looked at a bunch of Silent Bob figures, and uh, all of them had pretty good beard lines, except for this one. But the ones that had good beard lines had awful hat lines, like black was just smearing down his face, or was off the sides, or was too short and didn't cover everything, but the hats were a mess. So I figured I'd get this one with the good hat that had the kind of smeared paint line. If you can kind of see here, the uh, the the there's a little bit of like gray paint fade smear. You could see the beard kind of smeared a bit. And Funko's had some issues with uh, with beard lines. If you don't believe me, go take a look at some of the Jon Snow ones and try to find a really good beard. It's really hard. Um, so the other ones have a little bit cleaner under the uh, the little soul patch. But uh, I, I, I still think this was clean enough that it made me pretty happy. Now Jay and Silent Bob together look awesome. And uh, overall, when you turn them all around, there's no real problems with their hats or hairlines. I think they look really good. These are two of my favorite Funko Pops ever, just because uh, I never thought I'd see these. Here's hoping that we get more like Stoner, stoner duos, like Cheech and Chong, Harold and Kumar. Who the hell knows? Previous figures from Kevin Smith's View Askew Universe were handled by Graffiti Designs, but now we're starting to see Jansen and Bob be licensed to pre-existing toy lines, like Mini Mates or Funko Pop. And uh, I think these turned out great. I hope that it's a hit and they continue to do more. I mean, I know Jay and Silent Bob are like the obvious, most recognizable characters from that series, but I would love to see a Dante or a Randall. Uh, they're also number 42 and 43 in the Funko Pop Movies line. I just kind of wish they'd got to them a little earlier, so one of them could be numbered 37. Oh well. Thanks for watching.